Are you scared of snakes? Some people actually love them. A dangerous predator, poisonous and evil, or seductive, powerful and elegant. Their eyes, their skin, the way they move. Love or hate, you can't ignore them. All over the world, snakes have been the object of adoration and superstition since ancient times. In many European works of art, the snake is represented as a symbol of temptation. You know them from the Bible as being deceptive and evil, right? In the United States, rattlesnake is a symbol of independence and self defense with the motto, Don't tread on me, leave me alone, or you will regret it. We Japanese found a unique way of dealing with the fear of snakes. We admire them. Hello, welcome back to Zen Up Your Life with Sana Sakura. I got so many requests to talk about snake. I have mentioned snakes a few times already. One was about Genbu, one of four symbols, which is combination of snake and turtle. Do you remember? Another one is from scary story of Hanya. Can you now explain connection between a woman, snake and Hanya? If not, you can also check out this video. What impression comes to your mind when you think of snake? It leaves no one untouched. Everybody has some association. Symbol of fear, temptation, wisdom, evil and so on. What do you think Japanese thought about snake? Let's take a look at it together. This is Dogu, clay doll called Jomon Venus. Clay figures with the shape of snakes as head have been excavated from Jomon era sites. When do you think these clay figures were made? Long time ago. 500 years ago? 1000 years ago? No. They were created four to five thousand years ago during Jomon era in prehistoric Japan. If you take a closer look, you can recognize the pit viper by the shape of her head. Several clay figures with this kind of hairstyle have been found, some of which are said to be shaman maidens of the time. Snakes have been actually worshipped since time immemorial in Japan. Snakes have been appeared in various forms in Japanese animist beliefs. A typical example is the eight-headed giant serpent Yamata no Orochi, which appears as a mythical creature in the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki. The myth of its extermination by Susano no Mikoto, who descended from the upper reaches of Izumo province, is very famous. Yamata no Orochi is also a type of snake worship, can be thought of as a deified entity that represents the serpent in terms of the wonders that nature, such as rivers and mountains, sometimes produce that are beyond human understanding. There are many temples and shrines throughout Japan that worship snakes, and some have existed for 1700 years. From the Middle Ages onward, a deity called Ugajin began to be worshipped as a god of fortune. The figure is often depicted as a human-headed serpent with a head that can be an old man or a woman. And there are various theories as to its shape. In the 15th century, Gammon Nikki, there is an account of a family that became wealthy thanks to having Ugajin enshrined in their home. When a man saw a snake on his napping wife, he drew his sword and drove the snake away, and they returned to their former poverty. It is said to have eventually merged or combined with Benzai Ten, a Buddhist god. Benzai Ten is one of the heavenly deities a protector of Buddhism. She is originally Salasvati, a Hindu goddess of knowledge and art. It was also incorporated into Shintoism through the syncretism of Shinto and Buddhism and underwent various Japanese transformations. Benzaiten's incarnation is believed to be a snake or a dragon. 
but it is only in Japan because of the connection to Ugajin. So though both Saraswati and Benzaiten are originally the same god, however, Saraswati doesn't have any connection to snake, unlike Benzaiten. She's also one of the famous lucky seven gods. This is a cool group. Mix of gods in many religions on one boat. Diversity was in Japan since long time ago. Another story to talk about in this channel. Also, many old and prestigious shrines have snake gods, whose deities or gods themselves are snakes. Do you remember Izumo Taisha? I talked about it in the video about No God Man. This shrine is the one where many gods gather and have meetings about marriage. Do you remember which month? It's in Shimane. It enshrines a sea serpent called Ryusake-sama that has drifted ashore and is now coiled up on a sacred beach. The reasons why snakes become an object of worship can be speculated on in various ways, but one of the most promising possibilities is the snake's ecosystem the animal zoophagy, in which it swallows other creatures whole, as well as the venom, glands in its fangs inspire awe and fear and show the power of the animal. Even today, snake shells are prized as a good luck charm, and there is a superstition that putting one in your wallet will bring you good luck. The reason why snakes are respected is throughout to be due to the phenomenon of molting during growth. Shedding of the skin evokes imagine of rebirth, anti-aging, and immortality. When I had snakes as pets, many of my friends wanted to have snake shells. They wanted to have good luck with money. Can you guess which color would be the best? Shell from white snake, of course. The snake is symbol of life and wealth in Fusui as well. The generated limbs were also reminiscent of phallic bodies and were revered as a symbol of life. A long, flexible muscle, basically. You know what I'm talking about. It is undeniable that due to its special nature, the snake gradually became defined as a symbol of life and death among Japanese people of that time and became an object of faith. Was the story I talked about today same image as you have? Please let me know in the comment. We have many proverbs about snake. Let me introduce some. Dasoku. It is snake leg. A super filial thing, a metaphor for something useless that does not need to be there. Something too much. Put a fifth wheel to the court. You say it in English, right? Duto dabi. Dragon head, snake tail. The beginning is vagorous, but end is not. The head is magnificent like a dragon, but the tail is tailed off like a snake's tail, hence the name. You say going up like a rocket and coming like a stick. In English? That sounds funny. Which one do you like? Is there any proverb with snake in your country? Oh, if you ever have chance to get snake shell, don't forget to put snake skin in your wallet too. Then you will be really rich. Maybe. Thank you very much for watching today. If you haven't yet, please subscribe my channel. Have a good day or have a good evening. Bye, matane!